Hello, my name is Ryan Dark, and I am a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer here at Go Engineer. In this Go Engineer Quick Tips video, I will be discussing how to construct the sheet metal piece that you see before you. Uh, it is somewhat a combination of a spiral helix. As you can see, if I flatten it, it will create a flat pattern that I can then cut out uh, and is useful to construct my geometry. So let's go ahead and run through it. Uh, back here at the top, I have constructed two helix spirals. Uh, both hel helix spirals are the same length. They start at the same location. They spiral around the same number of revolutions. This is so that the inner edge and the outer edge correspond to one another as they spiral around. Um, moving forward to the sheet metal command itself, the sheet metal command uses 3D sketches, takes in 3D sketches that are converted from my helix curves. Uh, I'm doing this because the curves can't be fed directly into the lofted bend command. Um, the lofted bend command requires sketches, so I've just converted each of them here uh, to make them useful to the loft bends command. Inside the loft bends command, you see that it's just connecting one end to the other end, inside helix to outside helix, and just creating our basic geometry. Uh, important to note about lofted bends is the sketches that you use to do the lofted bends must be tangent in all locations. There are no sharp corners. So moving forward, the next helix spiral that you see in this tree is actually just a spiral. Uh, this spiral curve is going to be converted then into another sketch that I'll project down onto the faces to split the faces up so that I can then start removing some of the faces. So the split line itself has split all of these into separate pieces. This one will be the final one that we use so we want to remove all the other ones from our geometry. To do this I've used uh, the surface offset in conjunction with cut thicken commands. Um, I'm doing this because the cut thicken commands will cut normal to the face at all locations, which is something that's really handy for uh, keeping your sheet metal pieces functioning normally and effectively and, and not breaking as you rebuild them. Uh, so getting back to the bottom, after the cut thicken commands are complete, we have our complete geometry that flattens into a cutout that we can then send off to our manufacturer and uh, make our piece. So uh, this has been Ryan Dark with Go Engineer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos for more tips on using SOLIDWORKS.